Okay, let's just settle into a nice comfortable seated posture. And uh, if your feet are on the ground, have them about the hips width apart. And align your shoulders with your hips and your ears with your shoulders. And imagine your spine is this beautiful string of pearls of light that stretches from the base of the spine all the way up through the crown of the head and beyond. Putting some space in between the vertebrae, just allowing yourself to get a little bit longer. The ears, align your ears with your shoulders as best you can. Your hands can be resting in your lap or just on your thighs, whatever's comfortable for you. And then just go to the crown of the head and relax your scalp. And maybe you can feel some sensation there. Relax the forehead and the eyes and the back of the eyes and the nose and the cheeks and the mouth. Relax the back of the tongue and the jaw, back of the head and the back of the neck. And just allow your shoulders to drop down. Relax the throat and the chest and the belly and all of your limbs. Be aware of any sounds in your environment. It's pretty quiet here right now. But maybe where you are, there's a bit more activity, traffic, people. So try not to go off and investigate with the mind. What's that? Just allow the sounds to be there. And then notice what's arising in the mind this morning, what's bubbling up. Try and put some space in between the thoughts. Maybe there's something you're going to, you have to do kind of urgently the minute you get off the Zoom call this morning. So maybe just allow that to calm. And just give yourself, you know, the space to be in this meditation for you. So whatever's arising in the mind, just take it take a step back from it and look objectively at what you're seeing.
and then bring to mind all the people of our life. So we can start with our loved ones and then think about the ones we don't like so much and then our strangers. And think that all these people are interchangeable. These relationships are interchangeable. And all these people are are equal. They're the same as you and me in that they have this wish to be happy and to be free of suffering and that they all have this extraordinary capacity for this enlightened mind. And th this includes all of the sentient beings around us, you know, the little flies, the ants. This is their potential. So we'll do this meditation uh, this morning for all these people of our life, for all the sentient beings, and for all these people that we're hearing of that are, you know, have passed either through suicide or have cancer. I mean, there's so many, so many things that are, you know, creating suffering in people's minds and hearts. So imagine uh, I have medicine body here, so I'm going to share the image if you'd like to look. So imagine uh, medicine Buddha is a few inches above your head, facing the same way as you, and you're sitting on a moon disc, and this rep, uh, rests at the center of an open lotus, and his legs are crossed in the uh, you know, full Vajra or full Lotus posture. That's each foot over the opposite thigh. And he's facing the same way as you. And his body is made of this beautiful um, blue light. And he's, you know, Lama Supremesha used to talk about it being like sapphire, the color of sapphire. So every aspect of the visualization is made of light and radiates light. And, uh, you know, Medicine Buddha's right hand rests on his right knee in the gesture of granting sublime realizations. So that's with the back of the hand on the knees and the palm facing outward and the fingers pointing down. And he's holding the stem of an aurora plant between his thumb and the first finger. So if any of you do yoga, they call that the chin mudra. His left hand is in his lap, and that's in the gesture of concentration. And he's holding a bowl filled with nectar. And this nectar is, you know, medicine for purifying all of our delusions and obscurations and in hindrances. And it's the bowl is also made of light. And he's wearing the three saffron robes of a monk and has all the signs and marks of a fully enlightened Buddha. His face is peaceful and smiling and he's looking at all living beings in the universe with compassion and loving kindness. So we'll just spend a, a minute or two contemplating this idea of Medicine Buddha above the crown of your head. And if all that detail is a little much for your mind, you can just imagine this beautiful ball of blue light, healing blue light. And understand that the Medicine Buddha is the embodiment of all enlightened beings and their sublime qualities and just feel the peace and compassion emanating from him. You can also imagine this is the mind of your teacher manifesting in this form for your benefit.
we'll just do a little refuge prayer and four immeasurables and a prayer to Medicine Buddha. So I'll just recite them. You can meditate. I go for refuge until I'm enlightened to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By my practice of giving and other perfections, may I become a Buddha to benefit all sentient beings. I'll just do that one once. And the four immeasurables. May all sentient beings have happiness and the causes of happiness. May all sentient beings be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May all sentient beings be inseparable from the happiness that is free from suffering. May all sentient beings abide in equanimity, free from attachment and anger that holds some close and others distant. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, medicine guru, king of sapphire light, I prostrate, go for refuge and make offerings. May your vow to benefit sentient beings now ripen for myself and others. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, medicine guru, king of sapphire light, I prostrate, go for refuge and make offerings. May your vow to benefit sentient beings now ripen for myself and others. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, medicine guru, king of sapphire light, I prostrate, go for refuge and make offerings. May your vow to benefit sentient beings now ripen for myself as others. And now imagine infinite rays of white light flowing down from the heart and the body of the Medicine Buddha. And imagine this light fills your body and purifies all disease and afflictions, as well as all the causes of the problem, our negative karma, delusions, and our mental obscurations. And imagine that all these negativities leave your body in the form of thick black liquid like engine oil, and your body becomes as, as clean and clear as crystal. And you can imagine that all other beings are being purified in the same way. And for any individuals that you know um, personally, just imagine that they're also receiving this purification as we recite the mantra. Om Tayata Om Bekunze Bekunze Maha Bekunze Bekunze Raja Samangate Soha Tayata Om Bekunze Bekunze Maha Bekunze Bekunze Raja Samangate Soha Tayata Om Bekunze Bekunze Maha Bekunze Bekunze Raja Samangate Soha Tayata Om Bekunze Bekunze Maha Bekunze Bekunze Raja Samangate Soha Tayata Om Bekunze Bekunze Maha Bekunze Bekunze Raja Samangate Soha Tayata Om Bekunze Bekunze Maha Bekunze Bekunze Raja Samangate Soha Tayata Om Bekunze Bekunze Maha Bekunze Bekunze Raja Samangate Soha
Now this time imagine this yellow light comes. Rays of yellow light flowing down, maybe you can make it, imagine a golden light flowing down from the heart and the body of the medicine Buddha. And this um, brings all the realizations of the path to enlightenment and all the qualities in the Buddha of the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. So you're receiving all these amazing blessings. And you can imagine that the same thing happens to all the other beings and just really feel that you and all the other beings have actually received these excellent qualities and that you have received the blessings and the inspiration of the Medicine Buddha as we recite the mantra again. Oh, Jayata, Beckon, Beckon, Ma Beckon, Beckon, Raja Samangate Soha, Tayata, Beckon, Beckon, Ma Beckon, Beckon, Raja Samangate Soha, Tayata, Beckon, Beckon, Maha Bekanze, Bekanze, Raja Samangate Soha, Tayata, Bekanze, Bekanze, Maha Bekanze, Bekanze, Raja Samangate Soha, Tayata, Begunze, Begunze, Maha Begunze, Begunze, Raja Samangate Soha, Tayata, Begunze, Begunze, Maha Begunze, Begunze, Raja Samangate Soha, Tayata, Begunze, Begunze, Maha Begunze, Begunze, Raja Samangate Soha. So we have a, a minute or two, so let's continue to recite the mantra for the rest of the mala. Uh, I will count it if you don't have a mala on you right now, and then I'll let you know when we've come to the last one.
Now imagine the medicine Buddha melts into light and this absorbs into your heart. And your mind becomes one with all the enlightened minds of the Buddhas, with your teachers. So we just, for a minute, just let your mind rest in a state that's completely clear and peaceful and free from all of its usual busy thoughts and conceptions. Let's just dedicate all the merit, all the positive energy we've created doing the meditation so it might bring true physical, mental health and happiness to all sentient beings and be the cause of their eventual attainment of enlightenment. And uh, also for ourselves as we're moving along our spiritual paths. Mm -hmm. So all right, everybody, thank you so very much, Mary. Thank you for hosting. Lots of love, everyone. And thank so you, nice Venerable. To see you all. My pleasure. So I will see some of you this evening. Okay. Thank you. Bye.